There have only been two games in FC Cincinnati's inaugural season so far, but already the team has drawn tens of thousands of people to the game. A lot of excitement building, of course, and while the team is benefiting from the crowds of people, businesses here in the tri-state are also booming as a result. Nine on your sides, TJ Parker is live in Clifton Heights, where restaurants there are also getting involved in all of the hype. TJ? Yeah, that's right, Craig and Carol. Business owners I spoke with today are very excited about the new business that they're seeing just steps away from where FC Cincinnati plays, and they're hopeful this momentum keeps building. Cincinnati's newest sports franchise, FC Cincinnati, is bringing a lot of buzz to the Queen City and also a lot of business. Everyone's loving it so far. So far, so good. Manager of Keystone in Clifton Heights, Ryan Shoemaker, says they're benefiting from FC Cincinnati's popularity. They're across the street from UC and not too far from where the team plays its home games. Shoemaker says if the last two games are any indication, business will be great this season. Very, very busy early on, late late hours after the game, um, great clientele. This is adding another jewel to the crown of the Queen City. President and general manager for FCC, Jeff Birding, had no idea the popularity of this team would catch on so quickly. We're proving to the rest of the country that Cincinnati is a great soccer town. Jeff believes the team helps the city recruit international investment, as well as allow corporations to have a new selling point to attract millennials to work here. The short-term impact, though, the business boom. For soccer, they're going to go into the pubs and restaurants around the stadium and maybe have a, a beverage or two there, get something to eat, and then come to the stadium. It's a big part of it. Uh, the economic impact should be tremendous. That's certainly what this is all about, is having a rising tide that lifts our community in a fun way. For business managers like Ryan Shoemaker, he couldn't be more happier. It's a great crowd, and we appreciate everything. Now, Jeff Birding says while everything is starting off great, there are still a few kinks to work out, such as ticket and concession sales. For Live in Clifton Heights, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.